The Last Battle of Grunior. Chapter 1 The Old Warrior Grunior, the old grey orc, sat alone on a jagged rock, his gaze fixed on the setting sun. His once vibrant green skin had faded to a dull grey, and his muscular frame had shrunk with age. His eyes, however, still held the fiery spirit of a warrior. His life had been one of endless battles and conquests, a testament to the orcish way of life. He had led his clan to numerous victories, his name echoing in the war cries of his kin. But now, as his strength waned, he felt a strange sense of unease. His days were no longer filled with the thrill of battle, but with the mundane tasks of survival. He hunted less, his once swift movements now slow and measured. He spent his days carving intricate patterns into bones, a pastime that offered him some solace. The younger orcs, full of vigor and thirst for battle, saw him as a relic of the past. They respected him, but he could see the hunger in their eyes, the desire to prove themselves. He understood it, for he had once been the same. But Grunior knew that strength was not just in the swing of a sword or the throw of a spear. It was in the unity of the clan, the shared spirit of survival. And as he watched the sun dip below the horizon, he couldn't shake off the feeling that a storm was coming. His old bones ached, a sign of a change in the weather, or perhaps a change in the wind of fate. The old warrior knew that his greatest battle was yet to come, not one of blood and steel, but one of unity and survival. As the last rays of the sun disappeared, Grunior rose from his seat, his joints protesting with each movement. He looked at the vast expanse of their homeland, a sense of determination burning in his eyes. He would face this challenge as he had faced every other, head on. With that thought, he turned and walked back towards the camp, ready to face the trials of the coming days. The old warrior might have been grey and worn, but he was not yet defeated. Chapter 2 The Gathering Storm Whispers of an impending human invasion had begun to circulate among the orc clans. Grunior heard them too, the hushed conversations, the rumors spreading like wildfire. He saw the fear in the eyes of his kin, a fear he shared. The humans had always been a threat, their kingdoms expanding, their armies growing stronger. But the orcs had always managed to hold them off their warrior spirit and fierce determination a formidable defense. But now, things were different. The orc clans were divided, their unity shattered by internal conflicts and power struggles. Grunior saw the danger they were in, the vulnerability that their disunity brought. If the humans attacked now, they would be easy prey. He tried to speak to the clan leaders, to warn them of the impending danger. But his words fell on deaf ears, dismissed as the ramblings of an old orc. They were too consumed by their own power struggles to see the bigger picture. Grunior felt a sense of frustration a burning anger at the stubbornness of his kin. But he also felt a sense of responsibility, 
a duty to protect his people. He had led them to victory in the past, and he would do so again. He began to formulate a plan, a way to unite the clans against the common enemy. It would not be easy, he knew. The old rivalries and grudges ran deep, and it would take more than a few words to erase them. But Grunior was not one to back down from a challenge. He had faced greater odds in his life and he was not about to give up now. The old warrior had one last battle to fight, and he would give it his all. As the rumors of the invasion grew louder, so did Grunior's determination. He knew that the storm was coming, and he would do everything in his power to prepare his people for it. The old gray orc was not done yet. Chapter 3. The Call to Arms. Grunior stood in the center of the gathering, his gaze sweeping over the sea of orc faces. He had called for a gathering of all the clans, a feat that had not been achieved in many years. The air was thick with tension, the old rivalries and grudges simmering just below the surface. He took a deep breath, his voice echoing across the clearing as he began to speak. His words were simple, his message clear. They were all orcs, brothers and sisters in arms, and they faced a common enemy. He spoke of the impending human invasion, of the danger they all faced. He spoke of the disunity among the clans, the internal conflicts that had weakened them. And he urged them to put aside their differences, to unite against the common enemy. His speech was passionate, his words carrying the weight of his years and his experiences. He spoke not as a clan leader, but as an oar a warrior who had seen the horrors of war and the price of disunity. His words resonated with the orcs, their gruff voices murmuring in agreement. They saw the truth in his words, the urgency of his message. And for the first time in many years, they saw a glimmer of unity among the clans. The gathering ended with a roar of approval, the orcs raising their weapons in a show of solidarity. Grunior's heart swelled with pride, his old eyes glistening with unshed tears. He had done it, he had united the clans. But he knew that the real battle was yet to come. The humans were a formidable enemy their armies vast and their weapons deadly. But the orcs were warriors, born and bred for battle. And united, they were a force to be reckoned with. As the gathering dispersed, Grunior stood alone, his gaze fixed on the setting sun. The storm was coming, and they were ready to face it. The old grey orc had done his part, and now, it was up to the rest. Chapter 4. The Battle Begins The dawn broke with the sound of war horns, the human armies advancing towards the orc lands. The ground shook under the weight of their march, their banners fluttering in the wind. The battle had begun. Grunior stood at the front of the orc lines, his old eyes watching the approaching enemy. He felt a surge of adrenaline, the old warrior spirit within him burning bright. He had faced many battles in his life, but this one was different. 
This was not just a battle for land or power, but a battle for survival. With a roar, he led the charge, the united orc clans following him into battle. The clash of steel against steel echoed across the battlefield, the air filled with the cries of warriors and the scent of blood. The humans were strong, their numbers vast. But the orcs fought with a ferocity that only desperation could bring. They fought for their lands, for their kin, for their very existence. And they fought under the leadership of Grunior, the old grey orc who had united them. The battle raged on, the tide of war shifting with each passing hour. But the orcs held their ground, their unity giving them strength. They fought as one, a single entity against the human onslaught. Grunior fought at the front lines, his old body moving with a speed and agility that belied his years. He cut down enemy soldiers with each swing of his axe, his warrior spirit undiminished by the chaos around him. As the sun began to set, the human armies began to retreat, their numbers dwindling. The orcs cheered, their roars of victory echoing across the battlefield. They had held their ground, they had fought back the enemy. But Grunior knew that the war was far from over. The humans would regroup, they would come back stronger. But so would the orcs. They had faced the enemy, they had tasted victory. And they would be ready for the battles to come. Chapter 5 The Aftermath The battlefield was silent, the echoes of war fading into the night. The orc clans gathered around the fires, their faces lit by the flickering flames. They were warriors, their bodies bearing the scars of battle, their spirits unbroken. Grunior sat alone, his gaze fixed on the dying embers of the fire. The battle was over, but the war was far from over. The humans would return, their armies regrouped, their resolve strengthened. But the orcs would be ready. He thought back to the gathering, to the sea of orc faces looking up at him. He had united them, brought them together under a common cause. He had seen the spark of unity in their eyes, the determination in their hearts. They were more than just clans, they were a family. He knew the road ahead was fraught with danger the future uncertain. But he also knew that they were stronger together, that their unity was their greatest strength. They had faced the enemy, they had stood their ground. And they would do so again. As he looked around at the orc clans, he felt a sense of pride. They were warriors, born and bred for battle. But they were also more than that. They were a community, a family. And they would fight for each other, for their lands, for their future. The old grey orc closed his eyes, his thoughts drifting to the battles to come. He knew the war was far from over, that there would be more battles, more losses. But he also knew that they would face them together, as one. In the silence of the night, under the starlit sky, Grunior made a vow. He would lead the orc clans. He would guide them through the war. He would fight for them, for their future.
and he would never let them stand alone.